Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Virgo. Thank you, God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we're going to start with love. Let's see what's going on in love for Virgo. What do we have for love? Okay, children. Okay, so children could be taken center stage or someone wants children. Um, young man or young male. There's somebody who's <clears throat> maybe immature and experienced, could be young or acts young, has a nice car, hangs out, has, you know, a, a friend group, maybe even plays a sport or um, gets a lot of attention, is in the public eye. But there's a dark side to this person, okay? Um, there's something that they're keeping away from you. There's there's something hidden here, spiritual growth, okay? Um, but even in the midst of the dark times, you understand that maybe you're with this person for a reason. It's to offer some growth, long distance. This person could be far from you or there is distance in terms of emotions. Like you guys are not close anymore. Maybe it's just all about sex or passion or you're thinking about the uh, the sex or the passion or the passionate nights or the passionate times that you had with one another. And maybe now it's just a friendship. Okay. Somebody sees you still on your platform doing your thing on, you know, in your space, just living it up. And maybe they could want a union with you. There's somebody here who wants to date you. You get a lot of communication. You could even find a soulmate if you put yourself out there. Someone could be keeping or holding from their partner that they, they are dating someone else or that they're at least entertaining. Uh, they're entertaining uh, communication. They're entertaining this person by way of just communicating with it. It looks like it's going to come to light. Yeah. Somebody also could have somebody that they are trying to date while they still have a family or they still have, uh, you know, they're, they're married or they have the obligation somewhere else. It could be like an open relationship type of situation here. Uh, it could be like friends with benefits. Somebody understands the nature of the relationship. Let's see what the future holds here. The main female. So yeah, it's like somebody is the second woman here. They're not the, the wife, the privileged lady. They're the main f female. They're the woman without title. Because they just gave her female. They didn't even say main woman or main lady. Just main female. Somebody could be looking at women like that. Like this is the female I'll have tonight. I might have somebody different tomorrow. That's what I'm getting there. Let's see what uh, career and finance holds for you Virgo. The emperor, very nice. You could be getting promotion, having more, you know, stability in your career, coming to some level of expertise. Maybe you've learned something new, page of wands. You could be getting good news about, a, again, a promotion, a, a new business, uh, maybe even a new business venture. But definitely about promotion. You'll be able to do something the way you want to do it. Maybe you're going to get news that you get work from home permanently. Seven of Wands, something that you have been hoping and wishing for, that you have been putting a lot of energy out into the universe for in order to maintain this thing or start this thing. Um, people didn't see things your way and you kind of fought your way. You fought for this thing or this position or for... You were the advocate for this. Maybe staying home or I don't know. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Five of Wands. So there could be some 
competition rival rivalry or jealousy within your uh, workspace because you're abundant, you're flourishing. Harvest is coming for you, especially um, if you've done a lot of work, you put a lot of energy into something. You could be kind of frustrated with how things are going and maybe even with how there someone communicates with you at work, maybe even a superior, but you don't feel like you want to leave or that this is over. You know, this job is over. You're going to find something else. You just feel like you're frustrated with it. It's like you, you were you know, advocating for some type of change and they're taking their sweet time on making the change here. It could be maybe even going to another department, another person, another superior. Some of you are, you're really obsessed or somebody's really toxic or low vibrational in how they communicate and how they interact with other people or groups there's a level of obsession in terms of seeing this through there's a high level of materialism it says be weary of the choices you make don't be too extravagant in your choices you don't want to get to a place of being overburdened or in debt or indebted to in bondage. Maintain a certain level of, it's like you're trying to compete with somebody who's not even looking at you or somebody's trying to compete with you and you, you are engaging with them. This is what I have for you. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Uh, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Also ask a question or two by texting it to the number below and receiving the answer to your question all on your mobile device. You can also take tarot classes with me. Yep, our first class is December 27th. And uh, I'm excited about that. And uh, come learn the tarot with us. Also, if you're in the giving spirit, the Amazon wish list is below. You can purchase something for the channel. And keep in mind that I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.